welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Betches, not to be confused with Books and Satawa. <laughs> I'm Kristen, and with me I have Erica. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Third one of the day, we're falling apart. We're falling I'm apart. I'm so tired. <laughs> I barely slept all weekend. So essentially, if you're watching, Maria is. That's Erica. I'm Maria. Why I said your name first? God, I don't that's know. That's kind of the vibe. Me. That's the vibe that it does. It's the vibe. So, um, Caught up. this is a book podcast. We swear, we spoil, and we talk about sex. We're going to spoil this book, and this book is hot right now. It's hot. One. It's hot right now. It's hot. So if you haven't read it, one. go read it. This is, I don't want people to steal that from me. I came up with it, and you're saying it, and then I'm they're all going to credit you, <laughs> but I came up with it. <laughs> so the book that we're doing today. It feels like um, Star Wars-esque. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, it sounds like. Like a planet. Jar Jar Binks or something. Okay. <laughs> well, the book that we're doing today is Serpent, the Serpent, Serpent and the Wings of Night. The Serpent and the Wings of Night. <laughs> Written are, by... We are so derailed today. Clarissa Broadbent. The Serpent and the Wings of Night. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dragons in this one. No, it's vampire. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So if you take all the letters from the serpent in the wings of night, which is way too long, it spells out Sadawan. You're welcome. Is there a, uh, somebody has had to? It's come not up an with that. and word. It's is it the serpent? It's the serpent. Oh, so I was I was gonna say it. Sad- but it's it's Tasadawan. Tasadawan. That sounds. I sound like what's a his T-S face? T-S together. It's. Tassadawan. I sound like what's his face? Um, Yoda. Yeah, you did. Tasadawan. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is out of this world. So serpent, <laughs> you know I, the rest of that. Oh my! Um, oh, why are we? <laughs> why did we read this book? Because I said it was better than Fourth Wing. No, it, that's not, not why. why. Why are you taking credit? That is what it is happened. not what happened. Do you want me to pull the receipts? You said that at the end after we had all read it. You said that. You made that no, I grand. Didn't. You made that grand gesture. That grand. We realization. are reading we need this. To read this. No. We are reading this because someone told us to on the Discord channel when we asked. Ooh. We asked for popular books, and Ooh. they mentioned this one. You psycho. There is some... Look how she's not even looking at me. Yeah, there's some she knows tension. Fucking, right? There's some tension on the end I of the couch. I will fight her right now. I would love to see it. Here, you go, so, go in your receipts, I'm going to go in mine. Okay, while they pull up the receipts, I'll try to keep this podcast alive. Um, I remember it differently from both of them, I think, where there was You're a text... You're not on the Discord, so you wouldn't know either. There was a text message involved. I do remember Erica saying... Hold on. First. I pulled it up. I it, did. Remember. I didn't say. I didn't say it was better than. No, I know you first, didn't. But you but did bring. It I up. did say that. Uh, we need books that people are actually going to click, which is true. I said that. Yes, Kristen said that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> our, so she was going to claim that shit as her own. I know. No, no, like no, no, everything no. else. <laughs> I no. I'm just. I'm reading through the conversation. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So basically, our conversation. Obviously, we're getting. I'm, I want to be full disclosure here. We're getting paid for our streams now. Yeah. Like we yeah, yeah, are yeah. part of a podcast network. Let's be real. So like we're we want to pick books that people are actually going to fucking listen to. But so also, it's more fun when people engage. When with more it. people know about the and book have than like, we're us reading some. I like reading shit. the comments. I don't know, Anyways, man. halftime is like you got that wrong, and I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> so our biggest episode is our is our Arcatar episode. It has almost ten thousand streams. That's wild because that's like more. the worst one. Right, it's terrible. <laughs> that's the one that makes that's everyone abs- mad. It's absolutely off the fucking rails. If you've listened to it, you probably know. Anyway, so that's all of our goals. So Maria goes, I'll ask the Discord pals, and I go, Oh, Serpent in the Wings of Night. That's a good one. People are calling it Arcatar adjacent. Uh huh. I remember that, which it's not. And then it's Maria goes, "I've seen that title a lot now that I think of it." Okay. I think you were both right then. Yes, she saw it in Discord, and you brought it up on the text. Yeah. So I think you're both but right. Never did you say it's better than Fourth Night. I did we eventually. Blind. What we could take I away from this is it stems from me saying we need more clicks. Therefore, I am the queen of the conversation. Thank you so much. Um, so basically, this book, I didn't know anything going into it until I read the first page and I said, oh, fuck, we're reading about vampires and I hate vampires. I don't, is it because of Twilight? I don't like vampires. No, it's, it's everything. I don't know what it is about the idea of them existing only at night. They have the teeth. They suck the blood. I just don't. They remind me of ticks. I want to suck your blood. Anything that sucks blood is needs to go needs to go to where ticks leeches. mosquitoes leeches they are the things in the world that are unimportant to me 
maybe to the ecosystem they're more important, but I don't like them. They need to exist. No. Okay. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I don't like vampires. Sure, 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 okay. sure, sure. With that being said, I love this book. I love when this happens. I loved this fucking book, and I hate that I love this book. I love I didn't that I love this book. I don't think it was too deep into the vampire cut, It wasn't. It, maybe that's why I like this book. I Like, of the vampire books I've read, I don't think this was very... Like, you could interchange vampire for any other mythical beast, and it would have made perfect sense. It did take me a couple, like, chapters to get into it. I think the first bit, I was just like, eh. Well, I was, was like, kind of like, where is this going? Yeah, yeah, and I still feel like that, but we can get into yeah. that when we get into I, the story. I've been, I was talking on the Discord about this because uh, last year I had one five-star read, and that was Project Hail Mary. Mm. This year I've had five. Yeah, what the fuck is wow. going on? I know. We've had some good Here's books. what's going on. I think I'm going in not reading synopses. Yeah. Not learning about these books. I'm just going in with a fresh, this clear. Stars? This is five stars for I me. gave it wow. four, but I, we'll talk about why. So here's why close. I gave it five. It I gave it five, five because it could have been a 4.5. And I said, that's, stop that's nitpicking. Yeah, you're right. And I no, said, fuck right. it. If, at the end, I was like, I like this book. Yeah. I, I put a fan cast to this book. Yeah. It gets a five. When you say it like that, I feel like I probably should have gave it a five. In my mind, it was a 4.5. But like when you say it like that, like why did I have to go back and be like, why is this bigger story? Who cares? I really enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, I, had a good I think time. I'm just putting, I, I don't know. It's I'm going on a 180 here. Um, starting off reading when I was younger, I didn't care about all these nip. I just got for the story in and wow, loved it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Then once you enter the space of reviewing Adults. books and bookstagram and a podcast, you start thinking, trying to think more analytical We're about it. We're not doing it. that anymore. And we don't do that in general on the podcast. I'm just like, why am I doing it in my rating? But I think we've leaned into it more to get away from it even more. Yeah. And I'm cool with that. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> stepping away from trying to make things so serious. Yeah. So I said, I had a hot take on the internet, if you've seen it. I said, we talked about I this liked lot. this book more than I liked Fourth Wing. Oh, yeah. Which that's is an aggressive take. Interesting. I understand that. I think they're incomparable. Why? I, and I, that's what I want to say. I don't yeah. think that these books are, are in the same um, avenue. I don't think they're in the same sport. No. They're not. You know what I mean? Like, I think I, I, that's the, the comparison is baseball to football. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, it's not even the yep. same, like, type of sport. I think it's sport. because they're both big right now. They're just big. The they're, only big they're big books that are being compared to Akatar. Yep. That, that have a following. I don't know why this was being compared yeah, to Akatar. Okay, so let me finish my thought. <laughs> Sorry. Let me finish it! Sorry. I just Sorry. get so angry at that. Okay. I think that this book is from Blood and Ash. A better version of From Blood yes. and Ash. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. I don't know Done. if I read that or finished don't it. Don't read it. You didn't know. Don't need to. I think this is a better version of From Blood and Ash, and I think that that is the vibe that we should be thinking about when we're thinking about this book. And when we talk about Fourth Wing, I think we're looking more towards like Academy style ones, like whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're looking more at like a Divergence, Hunger Games. Divergence, so. Hunger Games. Like more those YA vibes. More Even YA. though it wasn't. It was new adult, but that still. But you're still looking in a different sector, right. in my opinion. Right, 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 right. But with that being said, I did like this book more than I liked Fourth Wing. Regardless oh, fine. of the genre. I don't know that I agree with. I don't agree with that. I enjoyed Fourth Wing more than I enjoyed this book. However, I think I enjoyed them both almost equally. Yes, I don't know. It's this is, my, this is more my ways. style of, of yes, fantasy. Yes, I think so too. 1,000%. I think I what I enjoyed that. more about this than I did a fourth wing, and again, I, I loved both. The relationship. Um, I, we don't have to compare them. Yeah. <laughs> but what, <laughs> I, what I appreciate more about this book that I think fourth wing lacked a tad, not a lot, exactly a tad, yep. is the relationship yep. between Rain and Araya compared to Bingo. Zayden and Violet. Bingo. I think... Rain and Araya are more chemically aligned in my head. And they, that's definitely why you like this one. Better. And the, ro the, but on the relationship too, building is better. Yeah. It's better. Rain feels older because he is. Yeah. He's in his 30s. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Zayden is a, a 20s child. kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to me, that's yeah. a baby. Yeah. So I like men in their 30s because yeah. I'm in my 30s. So. Right. I liked Rain Rain's, Rain's more a, than Rain's a fucking daddy. All right, well Rain's let's fun. do uh, let's do a sixty second. Maria, it's your turn, so you get to do it. Um, okay. No, it's Erica's turn. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Erica. Oh my it. god, oh. you little bitch! She's sitting there like trying to hide. You <laughs> bastard! It's your turn. Can't blend in I'm with the neon here sign. Just like wow. Just because your hair is almost pink doesn't mean you can blend in with your surroundings. Okay. 
Um, I do love how the light just like plays off of I your know. hair. I know. It's so Auburn. And she makes me want to dye my hair so bad. It's funny because the last episode she's like, if somebody has red hair, I just like pretend they don't. I'm sitting yeah, here like, she has bitch, red you hair. have red hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I meant You like, red haired fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You met a man, I know. Yeah, I'm married to a no, redheaded no, no, no. man. You I asshole. Actually, I actually don't care about. I don't see a lot of redheaded men in my books, but mostly ginger women. I like. You are okay. I have let's, a hard uh, time picturing. Do, just look down. Yeah. <laughs> look in the this fucking is not mirror. A ginger. <laughs> it's red. Not ginger. It's red. Um. Okay. I'll picture it this color. Erica, okay. are you good with doing the sixty seconds? <laughs> Doesn't matter. She has no choice. Hold on. Let me get the clock. Are you gonna do the stopwatch? Uh, sure. If you're new to this podcast, we attempt to do this thing where we explain the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less. If you happen to actually be new to this podcast, you don't know this, but Erica's super bad at this. So horrible. If you're here right now in this moment thinking 60 seconds, they're going to tell me the entire plot. I don't even have to read the book. No, you have to read the book. This is not going to be good. She's going to miss a lot. She's going to get a lot wrong. She might say the wrong book. She is a big dummy. Full Um, disclosure. At the end of this episode, you might still have to read the book. We're going to miss things. Yeah. Which I think think makes it that much better yeah no i I, I, keep hidden surprises let's talk about this again i'm gonna again i'm gonna keep harping on this and we can't this dead horse i am gonna keep we can't talk about this again do not say we're we're not an analytical don't say anything about literature it's a pilot class no that's that's like a nice little tagline that i like to say because it's funny free time we are the equivalent of you being in this fucking room with us and we're just talking about it. So book. stop. Okay, we'll stop saying this when you stop commenting on it, okay? Yeah. That's where we're at. Yeah. We keep you saying but it, you guys, but you keep commenting on it. Are you going to be Are you going to yeah. be mad if your friend doesn't like like fucking Maybe. say all of the book? <laughs> the, okay. Are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you? I I'm that what, friend. I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> you would be. <laughs> She'd be like, ah. "Um, I we're getting newer viewers and yeah. newer listeners. So you're going to be can, newly disappointed. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but they're not going to go as maybe I hope you do. They're not going to go as far back to find those episodes where we've said this yeah. of like, you're hey, right, right. we are going to get things wrong. Maybe we just add a one get liner at the top it. of every episode. I think we should add it to the swear, spoil, sex yeah. thing. Swear, spoil, talk about sex. And we're going to get everything and wrong. Yeah. And we suck. <laughs> and we suck. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, I honestly been wanting to do that. I've been wanting to add it. Okay, I love this. Okay, because okay. okay. I, 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 an addendum to the top of the show, <laughs> which are, is already I'm annoying. Trying, apparently, we I'm suck. trying not to care, but I care when I see these I comments know, I know. of like, Me too. "Hey, you get things wrong." Hey. I hated that I listened to this and I'm like, okay, then don't and stop making me feel bad about myself. I like, love that. Just not we, anyway. so, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say the specific one at the top of one of our episodes recently. They were just like, I really wanted to listen to this, but the top was super annoying. So I just did it. it was and so I'm like, cringe. why did you type that? Like, <laughs> you just uh, hurt my feelings. Do you, think, do you think maybe they meant like all of the mishmash, not just like your gimmick thing? Oh, I'm sure. Like, yeah. We're super. Cause somebody you guys get to be one of our, annoying. one of our <laughs> actual fans that like, like us in the discord was like, uh, one of the one of our episodes in the last couple of weeks was like it took fifteen minutes for you guys to get to like actually no I but agree. they loved it I agree were, with it was that. No, I know but they were like it took it was 15, like twelve minutes but and you're still I will not say about it. so like <laughs> as we are now that's why I'm in. sitting here being like guys stop like, it's fine it's fine yeah. okay, the no. no but no, there's no. there's a huge thing about my favorite murder right now that like they're can- I don't want to say it's canceled but people are not liking it wow. but my favorite murder there's a lot. There's, There's a, lot. a lot of like I don't want to get into it, but oh. basically like people are like it takes them like 40 minutes to get into the actual episode, which sometimes. I agree with. Like sometimes I'll try to jump into a new podcast and I'm like, I'm I don't going to talk about, your, about the like, thing gimmick. that I clicked on. <laughs> anyway, getting into the book, Serpent. Uh, OK, oh, I keep closing my laptop. 60, Serpent, 60, second, 60 seconds, 60 seconds or less. Are you ready, Erica? <laughs> like I said, it won't be good. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Uh, so the main characters are Raya and she gets found in the rubble by this vampire king dude who's super powerful and he raises her like her own like his own and there's this random fucking competition that a goddess will bless you with like one wish i guess i don't know what the fuck that means yeah you're right um but she has to compete but she's only a human and everyone else a vampire and they're super strong and super yeah. good at everything yeah. and she goes through this whole competition 30 seconds. and she makes a like uh, fucking packed with this dude who's super hot and his friend who like uh, I thought they were fucking and then 20 seconds <laughs> and then started strong 
they fall in love. They go through the whole fucking thing, and she finds out her pseudo dad is not telling her the truth about everything. Ten seconds per usual, and then she ends up winning the Five, competition, four, and and but she had to three, kill her lover. Two, and instead of wishing one, for her eternal everything, you're she, out of time. She wishes for him to come back. Uh, you missed the rest of it. <laughs> There's a whole twist, a lot of she stuff. She did so well, though. You did better I than did you normally good. would. She did great. You did better than you normally would. The last you jinxed piece, it. The when you last, say she sucks at it, she does better. She did better last, than she normally would. I'm still not saying. Maybe it's because I really like this book. The last piece of that I missed was that, so she wins the competition, and instead of wishing for her eternal life, because she had to kill this dude, but she doesn't actually kill him. He kills himself. He kills himself, yeah. yeah. It makes it look like she killed him. And uh, she wishes for him to come back. He comes back and he wanted to kill himself because he wanted to get out of his oath because he was trying to take over everything and take like take the back throne the back, which meant that she he had to kill her, her father. pseudo dad. So he who is betray- her real father, who we find out is her real father. They're also very good. 90 seconds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> 90 <laughs> seconds. Six seconds doesn't matter anymore. So here here's the thing. The book opens with um, a prologue. Yeah, the prologue, which actually, like I said, it it took me a minute to get into it, but I thought the prologue was interesting, right? The world is in rubble. It's in third person. Yes, there is rubble. I don't like those little snippets throughout the book, though. I hate it. I liked it. I fucking hate that. That was my least favorite thing. And then going to randomly to like prolude, and I'm like, what the fuck is a prolude? Now you're throwing a new thing at me. Prolude? Yeah, after the prolude. You mean prelude? Prelude? (laughs) No. It might have been a prelude. I think prelude is the word you're thinking of. Either way. So it started off with Vincent, who is the her Vincent. father her figure. Father, yep. So Vincent he is, is the a vampire. King. Can we talk about how confusing? I'm just confused about who's what type of vampire, who's at war, why I the the world outside of the competition. So the whole book is mostly about this competition, but the, the whole world, book is the competition. But yeah. the world outside of the competition mm-hmm. confuses the shit out of me. And I think that's what separated me from a fort to a five because i didn't understand the outside world and i think that i was supposed to yeah so th- we are in a world called serenage i had such a tough time oh i'm glad i didn't, didn't know i didn't it. even you're gonna that. help me right now yeah so we have different kinds we have the hyage and the rishin who are part of the nightborn which is one <laughs> facet of the, the the vampire so we are all following this goddess nyaxia um she is the her. she's yeah. the goddess of all vampires she created vampires so this cool. this tournament happens every hundred years in honor of her and her journey to becoming the goddess of vampires that was very cool so it's all just to give her blood it's just just a hey goddess of mine here's all this like gore and um tragedy yep uh so she created vampires within that first group. Uh, her favorites were the Bloodborne, which they have blood magic. They can like control your blood once you cut. Like if you get cut, like right now, I can just control Erica's entire body through mm-hmm. her blood. Then you have the Shadowborn, which can control shadows. Ops. That was cool. Yeah. Um. Then you have the what are the Hyaj? The Hyaj. The Hyaj handle like some kind of other magical beings or magical uh, uh magic they have. Then there's okay, Shadowborn, Bloodborn. <laughs> She's gonna Nightborn. miss some. <laughs> Hold on, I almost got it. But the beginning is um she's a child in the beginning. Yeah, she's like six five or six and vincent who is the ruler of what what does he rule he's the, the nightborn king so, so so initially the what the, the two that have been at war the longest are the nightborn and the rishin okay right yeah yeah, yeah. they are from the same vein right okay. created but they are both like think of them as both different um i don't know like different clans i guess different okay types yeah, yeah, yeah different types of vampires different types of the same kind of vampire but they're yeah. they're the same I think kind they're born differently but they're different from the bloodborne and the shadowborn sure and the other one that i can't remember right now okay but the rishin were at at one point or the bloodborne were um the rishin were kings yeah they, they had control of the kingdom okay and the way that happens with the the, the succession rate or whatever if you had an heir um most those who are becoming king next they kill they kill every other heir because they are they are a a threat so the kids like will kill kill their parents yes and and vice versa it's very like animalistic kind of like because they don't want to lose power the queen bee vibe yeah so the reason 200 years prior at the last games like this or i guess 200 pro whatever vincent vincent had won this whole tournament and he wished to become 
the next king. Yeah, so he's been king for that At the time, he killed every Rishan heir there could be and every sibling of his he had. Yeah. So he killed any opposition to his crown. Which is wild. So for the last 200 years, he's been in charge of everything. But the Rishan and the the Hiaj, which is what he's part of, have been battling this entire time for power. But so the, the, Vincent has held a stronghold of it. So the book opens with Vincent, the nightborn blood whatever king. He is approaching this little girl that um, basically her entire family was killed mm-hmm. in this battle. Mm-hmm. And he takes her in as her. she's a human. Yep. So for him, a vampire, a king, yep. a, basically a god. He's not a god, but he's basically a yep. god. He takes in this little girl, this human, which is like mm-hmm. pretty crazy yeah, to it's do. Weird. Everyone's like, why are you doing this? He's and like, I'm he, keep, keeping her. Well, they're like, oh, he's going to treat her as a pet. But really what he does is he treats her as a daughter. daughter. He raises her as and his he, daughter. he, he, like gives her like a little bit of affection like at a time little, like he's that dad like, that you want to make proud but never shows or never tells you he loves you and i but thought he, it, he ends up not being a bad dude no he does he's a bad dude he's but, so but, bad no, but he's like not a bad dad father yeah to her he's to always her. been good to her mm-hmm. for sure but like i thought it was interesting Which how is, her character you know so she's a human she's growing up in this vampire world but she kind of becomes a buffy in a way where she goes around and I'm she glad starts you said that I yeah that's such I'm a good subplot because she starts killing it was bad vampires yes. and that was cool and like i don't think he ever found out about that so my first question no. to this was who where is she doing with the bodies like that was my question if too. She's killing all these vampires. I think she's so leaving them. I wrote there that down. is a human um, uh, district, yeah. human district that's meant to be protected from vampires. Yeah, the vampires are not it's supposed not. to be in there, but they still go in to kill humans. So for the last ten years or so, ever since she was attacked by her vampire lover that she had at like seventeen, eighteen, or whatever. Um, no, I think she was like sixteen. Whatever, anyone yeah. better. He, like, bit her. Since then, she's had this, like, fear of vampires killing her. And she gets that aggression out by killing actual vampires. So she goes into the human district and she protects humans and kills any vampires that who are trying to, neat. like, cover them. I liked it because I thought it was a great, it was a great way to build the relationship between yeah. her and Rain yep. over time yeah. as, like, on a friend level, right? Yeah. Like, they're, like because they're so adversarial in the book because they're on opposite mm-hmm. sides she can't trust him like she doesn't trust anybody yep. but then she builds this relationship with him where he's helping her kill people bad vampires, bad vampires. but at the same time too it also shows that she can still be in this tournament because you think about it as a human mm-hmm. are you even strong enough to take on these vampires like but she if has. you show that she's been killing vampires yeah. single-handedly for years then yes yeah, she can so definitely another, be in this tournament another part of this and i i mentioned this when we were reading when i was reading it is that i fucking hate when when it's like i'm not like other girls yeah and yeah. it's like just you say it and you don't show it she showed that mm-hmm. she was smart mm-hmm. at every fucking turn yeah yep. and like it wasn't i'm not like other girls it's I had to adapt to survive. No, she never she's even not this is, it. Yeah. She's not vampire. She's not human, but she has to live in a world where she feels but like she's she one or the other. She has to yeah. figure it out, and she does it by being a little bit smarter or yeah. tricking people or whatever it is. She, like, maneuvers mm-hmm. her way. And I think Fourth Wing did that really well, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. similar, like, not like obviously her being human isn't a handicap but like it was a similar vibe of like she's sure. smarter than them she's working harder than them she's doing x y and z yeah. and then you know obviously pairing yourself with rain who is daddy so. i think i'm confused about <laughs> why the tournament so i understand why the tournament exists how do the vampires so like the tournament is happening um we got the backstory she's like whatever she's about to go into this tournament why do people enter the tournament is it just to so try to get at the to that end wish? you get a wish from the goddess so that's whatever the you want so like, it could be endless power and the other thing i didn't understand about the tournament was not everybody has to die but most do and they, they all die i thought no, but Misha, she yeah who? i thought that not every Misha? Misha got taken out but I, I thought know. I thought that like because I think the rules changed. There was like something where he was like, "This year you can kill," but like certain years maybe. No, so so there's different rules. Think of this as like the Triwizard Cup a lot. Yeah, that's honestly, kind of I, I definitely with. yeah viewed it as that. There yeah. every year the main rules are the same, but there are so, small little changes that happen depending on the year. Okay. Not every year, but every hundred years, whatever it is. Yeah. In this case, there were the the goddess had decided. Or so they said. Right. I was like thinking that the goddess didn't exist at one point, but she I was does. thinking like, that Wizard too. Of Oz I was thinking shit. that too. Um, I thought it was just like a fake thing and just make them like kill each other, like hundred yeah, games kind yeah, of thing, yeah. you know. 
Um, so they she, they said before in other tournaments you were allowed to kill each other to be in between these trials and every there's four trials they happen within three weeks of each other where are they they are in the moon palace so yeah think so of it moon palace. palace is fucking sick fucking hogwarts they yeah, give it a t- yeah. it's a standalone it's cool, thing yeah yep. you don't it you can't leave it i picture like a bubble around it and i'm like i wish i kind of wish there was a bubble around it. i did too and when she was talking about the greenhouse i thought of a bubble but they were able to leave the and greenhouse go is such a smart yeah. place for her to be yeah, yeah. But so it's smart. just weird to me that they were able to just like leave whenever, come whenever. Because and they, then they, they opted to go into it. But and why, so my question, why didn't a lot she of just time pass? Why didn't she kill them all while they slept? Because it was against the rules. It was against the rules. See, that's stupid to me. Well, it was no, because if you do her, it really, wrong, yeah. if you if you fuck up, if you break the rules, Nyaxia, the goddess will. But then they could have killed her whenever they wanted. They did. They didn't. They didn't kill her. I know, but they like attacked. They like, could have. She was being attacked and stuff. So why couldn't she do it? She wasn't attacked uh, during the the side the after the trial. She was attacked during the trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. She's never come after. It's interesting because she's a human, right? So yeah. she could be awake uh, during you the know, day. During the day, where they have to basically sleep. Yeah. So like, I, I don't know. I thought that whole thing was very interesting. Where I was like, okay, you have such an advantage at night. I mean, uh, during the day, but they, they can have such still an wake up during the day. Yeah, true. They just can't be in the sun. Yeah, which, which I liked. I'm glad they stuck yeah. with that because I hate when they like try to switch it up. Like sparkles. sparkles. In the sun. <laughs> so wait, can we do the fan cast? We're doing that now. Wait, no, we got to get to the part in the story where oh. where he even shows up. So Rain, yeah. So we're in the we're in the competition now. Mm-hmm. These the quests are happening, and they need to pair up or um, ally with people so they can For the survive third, the, the last half moon trial, which is the third trial. Yeah, is the one trial of, out of all four or five. I think it's the phase of the moon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where you have to have an ally or a partner yep. for it. How did and Rain show up originally? Like, what was Rain showed up in the first, uh, in between the first trial where the humans were all being slaughtered right. and That's her right. friend. She has one human friend that we meet in the beginning. I got so sad that she got killed already. I know. Would you be able to identify somebody's scream? Mm, no. No, but I think she just... Ah! <laughs> Maybe. So at the, beginning, like at the beginning, she goes, she's gone out to fight the vampire. She's come back, snuck into her friend's house, who's basically a donor. She's a blood donor in the castle. And she tells her, hey, the trials are starting soon. You have to go. You're human like me. You're at risk. The trials are supposed to start three days later. They start a day later. So mm-hmm. her friend didn't have a chance to leave since she was in the palace. Everyone who was human in the palace, all the vampires who came in just went bloodthirsty killed and all. killed them all. It was all like a massacre. It's pretty crazy. Um, so she is trying to find her friend in the palace. And this is where she meets Rain. Rain stops her. He's, he's like, they're all dead, babe. Like, don't even go up yeah. there. She stabs Rain in the leg. But like, fuck <laughs> you. Right. Try to find my friend. It's a little vicious yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Goes to find her friend. Her friend's dead, dead. Dead, <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead. Which I didn't really dead, care dead. about. Too. I dead. liked her. They didn't set her up enough for me to care but about I, her. I, um, but I I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. I appreciate it. I didn't want more. I, didn't I appreciate that we still little, had. Yeah. I, I appreciate that we still had Araya grieving her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire time. It for just sure. showed that she had a lot of love for her. Yeah, I did like that. And then Rain. Like, she alone. wasn't an afterthought after the Exactly. The death. She yeah. could have easily so, just been like thrown off. From the very yeah. beginning then, Rain was like cool, right? He was like, well, he I'm was, not here to kill he you. He was like intrigued with her. Yeah. Definitely from the intrigued. very beginning. And like, it was very like what it should be banter i love yeah. rain like you're just I interested in somebody He's so great okay and then who did you rain. think it rain was though okay now we can do fan what cast. do you mean like fan cast wise. oh okay i have a yeah, whole, you have, have one a so my fan cast for rain and this is exactly how i pictured him all by maybe like five inches taller is oscar isaacs <gasps> who's that oscar isaac i thought you were gonna say a young, a young young oscar a isaac young oscar isaacs who the fuck is oscar, Ooh. Ooh. oscar isaac he's from dune yeah He's a sexy boy. He's so, Oscar Isaac is so hot. Okay. Right? I think. Is that? I, I fucked up. <laughs> what did you Oscar say? Isaac. I, you're going to hate me. <laughs> oh, no. Would you agree with that? No, I, I like this. I like this casting. Okay. Um, I think we could have a lot of different guys. I'm not good at casting. I want to know. So the first guy I thought of. You're freaking me out. Was, <laughs> I'm a little um, worried. Rain, the guy from Victorious. What? <laughs> yeah. Who is that? Oh, He's him. Oh, my God. Victorious. Sorry. I was looking at the one on the bottom. No, yes. That's Vincent. I love him. I love. Oh, so what's the, his name? Um, uh, Ivan. Uh, Ivan Jagia. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I fucking. I fuck with that. I know. I, I wanted him. him to be prettier. He I is so he pretty. pretty. I think. I think it, it, he's pretty. I'm going to put this up. Yeah. No, I, I think I, Oscar Isaac is more now like. Now it shows you know. everybody else I was doing, but whatever. It's fine. No, I, f- I fucks with that. I fucks with that. 
Yeah, but you have to look more of his pictures. I think he is a pretty boy. So he he said that she well she said he had longer hair. Yeah. Right. Like he had like at least shoulder length hair. I know. Uh, which I don't like guys with long hair, but I thought of him immediately. Like his hair wasn't victorious. I love that. Yeah. And I will put I will put if you're not watching. He kind of looks put like on a YouTube. vampire too. In yeah, some of like these I thought of him. Like, but dude. a little a little bulkier, like a little bit yeah. more like muscle on him, and obviously a little older. Erica, look at his Instagram. Like he looks more like a vampire in some of these pictures. Where I'm just like, oh yeah, I could see that. Have fun. Um, Have and fun. who? What about the girl? Jenna Ortega. No. Wednesday. Yes. He's too I. Soft. This is too. I soft. thought of Jenna Ortega. A little bit more, you know, no. run down. I She's like, like the other one that you said. The one from Sophia Mick. E. I like her too. What's her but name? But Mick, I don't think the girl from Mick, uh, her. It's not she's so f- that I one. think she's so um, feisty. I like this girl, Sophia. I think Jenna Black could be feisty Viola. too. I think I pictured her also as. I can the, do either one. Once of you them. said that, I said yeah. That's either her. one of them. Yeah, I really like her a lot. I think she's funny. Yeah, I could see that. I could, I could see, see her, her too. Once yeah. I saw her yesterday, Sophia I was like, oh, I kind of like her more. Diella. Yeah, Sophia. I like Black. her. But initially, yes, I had put Jenna Ortega. It's fine. Okay, that's fair. For um vincent Raya? i like your Matt that's Michelson. what i was looking at as the other one i was like I do. dude that's I michaelson as vincent y'all yeah. i think he would i had it. i had maybe like an anderson cooper i pictured someone way older oh. anderson cooper okay yeah really when i know he's not an actor but that's like i know when he was see i pictured hair, like I anthony bourdain and then if we're yeah going, white yeah. hair again i'm going like old like i, yes. even, I even thought yeah. of like stellan sarsgaard oh mm, yeah okay but I didn't I picture like him that, hot, but though. I that the is, way Vincent, I like that one. The way Vincent gave off, which again, same, also named Vincent Underworld. Mm. Remember the movie Underworld? No. Uh, with Kate Beckinsale. No. Is that her name? Mm. Kate Beckinsale. Um, her father figure was a vampire, and his name was Vincent. I think. Oh, that's mm. funny. And I thought of him, okay. and I was like, "Who gives me that kind of vibe?" Matt's Michaelson. That's fair. Yeah, I like Matt's Michaelson. What's the last one you have? Nisha. Nisha. Brittany Murphy. Oh, that's good. Huh? That's good. That's a good one. Yeah. I miss Brittany. I'm like, oh, sad I got sad that down. I know. And then Jasmine Dilly Kravitz. Oh, that's a good one. Jasmine is um Vincent's like uh general. Yeah. Oh, no, I thought of one. what's her face Who? from Game of Thrones. The tall blonde. Brie? Tall blonde. Brie. Brienne or whatever. Brienne. Oh no, because she was described as like very sensual. Yeah. And Brienne doesn't give me sensual. I think she can't. She's be a brute. I think she could have been. She could no, played She 100 percent can. Yeah. But anyway, I thought of Zoe Kravitz. I like that. Ibrahim, I got Matthew Eaton from House of the Dragon. Nice. The guy who has a foot fetish. Nice. So this is the guy who the guy who <laughs> his parents took out his teeth and fucked up his yeah, leg yeah. to make sure he can't uh be better than them. Oh, take that's over. right. I like that character. So I thought of this guy. I like that character yeah. a lot, actually. And then Nyaxia is the goddess of chaos from Sinbad. <laughs> is that it? I thought he, honestly, I thought of her as um the goddess from Moana. Oh. Oh. No, this one. I couldn't put a I couldn't put a picture to her in my mind. She this was just like I thought. Yeah, she was just a being. Well, the at the end she was described with like yeah. flowing yeah. hair yep, and yep. I was like this is She's this is the goddess from chaos. So, um, that's my casting. I will put it on the screen for um, I think that's the great. YouTube. I love that. So, when they're in the games, just getting back to that story because I think their love story is so good. Um so, so good. obviously they start to follow each other. So, the whole time she's so like standoffish she's like yeah. i have to protect myself yeah to the point where like at times it got very annoying yes but i was that's, frustrated that's the, it just shows the brainwashing of it mm-hmm. all of how vincent really like made her trust him and only him it just got so that so when it came time to where he like, has to choose that's yeah so crazy, yeah, 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 yeah 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 oscar isaac yes i, sure. I agree i agree okay I'll put it on the screen as well. But it just got frustrating that it just kept going over and over. I'm like, for yeah. the love of God, he's training But it was a you. slow burn. It was but a he slow was burn. so, like, kind to her I and lo- stuff. I, I know. And he, and I'm she- surprised you liked this as much as you did because there wasn't – it was a slow burn. There wasn't, like, a ton of sex. And I think it comes yeah. to 80%. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, it, I, people automatically assume that I, like, need the insta lust, that I need the sex, and I need all of these things. And it's not necessarily the case. I need – a good what was the romance about them that you really that they had like an actual yeah, relationship chemistry. and chemistry and yeah. like and you it could built- see there was i i could i have taken it a little bit earlier than 80 percent absolutely fucking lovely, <laughs> but like <laughs> killing me smalls but also but it makes sense for it's like four months of time between yeah. them right i don't know about you guys and how you guys met john and mike right. but like you guys didn't dive in month right. one no totally you know it has to and especially if you're coming in without any kind of trust to anyone on the outside world you're being told by your father anyone in this place is gonna lie to you and kill you don't right, trust anyone right. i think i think I they could if i if i wrote this book myself i think i would have given a little bit more 
sprinkle along the way. Mm-hmm. It would have maybe a I stolen that was enough sprinkle. I think there, there could have been a stolen kiss here or there or something no. like that. Uh, like no, there she would have been close to her. Yeah, that was what kind of drove me nuts after a while. Where I was just like, okay, he's proven himself time and time again. Like, come on. No, but also love the, the whole. End, he lied to her the entire time anyway. I know. I know. So I can't wait to get there. <laughs> but like, I love the whole like beer thing where he was like, I just want garbage beer. Yeah, like I their relationship them. was cute. I thought it was very cute, and like it led up to like a bigger thing. Uh, finally they were like basically inside each other's heads for one of them fighting like side by side so oh, yeah they, that was like, super they neat. learned how to fight together yeah. like again like this is all relationship building this is building blocks this yes. is creating a narrative that these two people actually like like each other yeah. and aren't just like super attracted so to let's each get other. to the end because this all leads us to like our final epic battle so she loves him i love they, trials, they, they, are, they love each other they're in love with each other and the reality is and very much like hunger games right yeah where it's like these two people like i don't want to kill you and you yep. don't want to kill it's me Pita. but, it's so, but it has Pita. to be it's, the last man standing but it has to be the last man standing and he decides that he doesn't want he doesn't want to do there's that. also one other person left in this that we can't forget about what's Ibrahim. her name oh uh angelica uh, angelica who's like been going after him the whole time and is like mad because he killed her lover so Ivan. like yeah. obviously she's hurting also mm-hmm. did we talk about how fucking cool some of these challenges were the I challenges were say it the awesome. trials are so fun yeah the trials are really i neat. love the like, trials for a trial for a like a competition book yeah, like yeah, yeah. i think this was very creatively done yeah very felt, very so the the way the trials were set up it's to emulate the goddess and how she became so the cool. goddess so she smart. did so, cool. so, so smart. each trial was a part of her life so one was like how her her lover got killed and one was like how she had to go through a, a barren landscape either way every trial relates to her it always goes back to diaxia and the last one was um what do they have to do they, uh, at this, they had to like I just read it didn't they have to use the, the other person's body to like open doors and stuff no that was like no, the, that, that was, was one of the other ones oh. no they they made it through like they had to duel all of those gods oh yeah right? yeah like they each right. went yes, yes, they yes. each went That's through a right. hall and they were like dueling certain types of gods like gods of fire gods yeah whatever fire, everyone got arrow. a different god yeah. batch yeah. and then and the then end, they, they all emptied other. out into one room so it was angelica rain and Araya, and then like i think they killed angelica and then yep. it was just him and her and yep. they actually like fight. fought yeah they actually fight they and, fought and i love that you that you said um buffy because yeah. it's giving buffy angel yeah yes. fight from season two yeah. yes if you haven't watched yeah. buffy season two i actually love you it. have to number I, one number yeah. two spoiler she kills him at the end Right. And it's it gives this. This is the scene. I thought they were gonna do some lame thing where like they like basically both a pita win. a pita thing, right? Yeah. Where they both eat the thing. I but thought so too. They they were like, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight to the death. And, and they you're not gonna hold fall. back. And then there's that weird moment with Angelica where she's coming at um only at, at Araya at Araya. But then like something happens and it like he looks changes. up into she one, looks up in the she stands. looks up into the stands and she like Araya notices it but like doesn't think anything of it and then before he dies he, he looks also up looks into up the stands yeah in the same way they're talking to that they're looking at that dude with the cigarettes oh What's his name? that's right i don't know how to say uh, it. i forget his name it's a long name so basically whatever he's he's a character in the next book yeah angelica dies um and then and then Oraya stabs um what's his name and he Rain. Rain. she she doesn't but she, want to do but it. he yeah but he wants he makes yeah. her stab him yeah that's it he that's pushes the sword deeper in so he's kills dead himself the Here goddess comes the goddess goddess shows she's like up. you won my little nightborn daughter good what for do you, you what do you for? want and she's like Rain should have won and I wish for like, him to have won and I think big mistake the the goddess's reaction to she's like is that what oh okay and she laughs at it being like this yeah. is so dramatic and fun yeah and she just brings what a in crazy rain twist. Come back and then rain's just like what did you do and rain coming back he literally was like okay fine i wish to be the fucking i wish to bring back the the Rishan to be in power because he, and had he to. is actually the heir and he turns and he fucking kills vincent right in front of oraya so basically like that was the craziest twist to me i was wondering how you felt about it eric because you loved him so much and you liked their relationship do you feel like that's an end-all be-all like how do you come back from that like how how is oraya gonna want him to so grovel this, all of book two don't book tell is, me much of it i just, oh, yeah, just want to grovel so the second book is a lot of groveling which yes. you know i love yes but um i think oraya Ar- has to come to terms with all of these things that she's learned about Vincent yeah. and that she still has to learn about Vincent. She finds out over time. And I think that 
over the course of the next book, she comes to terms with some of these things and she understands but Vince's before you go to a little bit of perspective. Book. But Vince's Vince's general shows up and is like, you're the queen now. You're the heir. So that's the I other like twist, which is that she is actually Vincent's daughter. Like it turns yeah. out. So this is half kid, which well, I didn't understand. So I thought that it's because he raped her mother. No, no. Because he was really bad. He like he was really mm. bad. You're thinking that Nisana is her mother. It's I don't think she is. Are you sure? So Vincent, they were in love. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't think her mother's ever mentioned. Oh, so you you're think thinking she's mentioned you're thinking more in the next yeah. book? But they but were. But I thought he like raped and pillaged like a ton of women he, and shit. Hundred percent. Like He's I don't know not if rape best. was in there. Really? I don't know. I, I don't can't know remember. Why I thought but it I was. know that when he took power, everything was taken. Like every other opposition was destroyed. Yeah, that could have involved raping and pillaging. I don't know. Right. He could have. Right, right. But she is his daughter mm -hmm. and i think what he was trying to do uh, my, don't tell me if i'm right or wrong um he destroyed that city where she's from which is a Rishan city yeah a Rishnan. I, I can't say it right and he was going to get her anyway oh so thinking i've destroyed every other heir possible oh. what if i take this one that i know Got is my it. daughter Got it. and built her from the beginning in my image how i want her i am yeah. her one and only Sure. So she doesn't know that she has to kill me to have power. And she has powers, too. And, and so, that explains and the why. The point of the, the trials for Araya was her wish was going to be to become bonded to Vincent in some... It's called a... It's a weird word. Uh, essentially, it binds them magically. So yeah. whatever happens to Vincent happens to Araya. So Araya can't kill Vincent because then she dies. Right, That's right. the point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's where it comes so from. So I guess it was just confusing at the end because the general comes to her window and is like, you're the queen now. Like, we follow your lead. But yeah. at the same time, she's still with and well, married. Well, so you have Vincent to. Vincent dies, yeah. she gets her own but, mark. But she's still with and married to So you have Rain. to. Not yet. Well, he forces her, basically. Yeah, he forces like, her you to have marry. To be but before, to before they marry, yeah. the minute Vincent gets killed. Yeah, she's the heir. Her she her now. gets an air mark. For sure. So Vincent has his own mark on his neck, which is like this red veinish kind of like... Uh, tattoo like, where and his wings <laughs> are red as well so that's why the rain thinking to keep her safe yeah. is to marry her yeah. so the whole what you, what you need to keep in mind is that the there's three true factions of vampires mm -hmm. there's rain's vampires the dude's vampires that he's in, le that he's in league with yep and then vincent's mm -hmm. those are the three different vampire factions basically yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and rain decides that he wants to pair with the fuckers that he doesn't really like yeah. and aren't good people to take down vincent mm -hmm. the second book it's a little bit different okay say no more say less <laughs> <laughs> say less. things change um something that i i didn't Thank expect you. out of this book um and like i said i've been pmsing all week so you can actually see how my cycle went throughout the reading these books because I did cry in this book. What you did you cry? Surprised. What did you cry about? So throughout the book, he is standing in front of the windows as the sun's going down. Um, I mean, as the sun's, the sun's coming up. up Rain so that is. he can, like, because he misses the sun. He used to be human. Yes. That was, like, a whole thing. Rain was turned. So, But he could never watch the full sunset because it would start to burn his sunrise. skin. So, sunrise. Um, so, Oraya basically rigs a mirror up so that he can watch the sunrise. And there was this little part... Where I'm just reading this. It's so <laughs> cute. Um, he said, careful, princess. He said at last, his voice rough. Someone might think you're actually nice. But his words mattered so much less than the persistent tug of the smile across his lips. And every day after that, he dragged a chair to that turn of the hallway. And he watched the sun rise and fall over Siver Jaja as if it was <laughs> the most precious gift in the world. Yeah. How fucking cute. They're so cute. That's adorable. I, love I could just picture him like dragging the little chair and like sitting there and looking at the sun. They were like last night together. Was really I almost just too. teared up reading that again. You guys are you're fucking heartless. The <laughs> like I cry at everything. At everything. I just I'm not crying at this though. I, I cry don't at cry everything. a lot. I thought it was I, so This cute. is new for me. Yeah. I'm crying at everything. Yeah. I cried at everything too. There was some parts that gave me Maze Runner vibes, like when the um some of the competition when they were in a maze. <laughs> well, when the competition started to come back yeah. as like the dead, they were dead, but they were like the bad guys. Oh yeah, um that happens in Maze Runner, and like they have to like that happens somewhere else too. That's like an interesting play. What else did that happen in? I don't know. I think there is something else that we might they have become watched. wolves. That's Divergent. 
Wait, really? Happens in Divergent. Does it? Doesn't it? Divergent or Hunger Games? Wolves? Hunger Games. Maybe it's Hunger Games. The last try on Hunger Games where all the fallen become like weird uh, monsters. I don't remember that. Yeah. I think it's Hunger Games. I could be wrong. The other thing that was confusing to me was like, I, I feel like Vincent... I know that their, like, relationship was cute or whatever, but he also sent her, like, he knew that that attack was going to happen on the castle, right? Like, mm-hmm. he knew that attack was going to happen, and he kind of sent her there. So, like, why would he send her where the war... Uh, no, no, no. He didn't know the castle was going to get attacked. I thought he did. The moon palace? Yeah. No, that's what triggers the war times. I thought he knew that. I no, thought he knew everything. He knew... I think I thought he was worse than what he is. No, 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 no. So, during the trials... The Moon Palace gets attacked, and uh, Vincent immediately thinks it's the opposition, it's the Rishidans, and he's like, okay, we are now in wartime, everyone's enemy, I'm bringing everyone down. So, I think that's where you're confusing with. Yeah, I did get very confused with that. He didn't, he, because that's I where, think I'm having that's because he was so scared that, he, that she would have been there, but yeah. she happened to have been okay. killing vampires with rain. How many books are going to be in this series? There's only two. A two but in, but in, to but in the world, it's five. Uh, the world is five, but the the story their two. their story is two books. I, s- I don't know if I like that. It's like Bridge Kingdom again. I don't know if I like that because now I'm like I feel like I'm missing the rest of the You're Bridge not. Kingdom story. You're not. But there's it's over. But it's there. It's sto- over. No, the world it's is still over. going. The world is still alive. Everything's still alive. <laughs> but the story's still going. But the story's done between their story's them. Done. Yeah. Their story's I done. I don't like it. I don't Goodbye. like it. Goodbye. Feels incomplete. That's all I'm saying. Here so what are you guys yeah. about Ibrahim? Ibra. Which one was Ibrahim? He was the the mangled oh. one that got destroyed by his family. I f- was sad for him. I felt so bad for him. I and the whole time, him. every time I he saw him, still sucked. like. No, the end was so cute when he was like, I'm I, glad, I'm it, glad was it was you. you. Oh yeah. my God, adorable, adorable. I liked him. Who did he remind me of? Neville. Neville. Oh, no. <laughs> I get Neville vibes from that. <laughs> no, it was like somebody in Hunger Games. I literally wrote here. Mm. I was like, it was Ibra. I was like, this kid's going to win it all. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? It was I thought he was going to be something in, far. I, I feel like it was somebody in Hunger Games. So did we like, like the ending? I'm still yes. indifferent. Yes. I know you did. Oh, yes. it reminded me of the fucking crazy bitch in Hunger Games. The girl. That was on their side. Oh, oh, yes. I don't know her name, but yes, I got you. Huh. If you got that reference, then great. <laughs> but if you don't, I don't know her Glad name. you guys are on the same page. Uh, overall, I love this book. I love all the Sorry. scenes with Rain and Araya. Like, there are a lot of scenes that call back to other things that I've seen. But it just shows... Buffy and Angel vibes a ton. But it just shows how much he's, like, intuitive with her. He's so into her. Yeah. It's very cute. I, I don't know. I love the whole story. I... I'm the second book. So the See, second I don't know how I feel about the second one. Am the I going to read book it? Is I don't tough know. And, and I don't want her to keep talking about it. No, no are you gonna I, read I it? do want to. I want to. I do want to talk about this because it's a different book than the first book. Right. See, that's why I don't know if I want to read it. So like you had a you it's had a you had a tournament. You had a tournament book. The next There's a lot book of action. Is, I feel like the next book is like a war book. Oh, Ooh. you know what I mean? Like it's like Maybe a like it's that. it's very heavy on the politics. It's very yeah. heavy on like don't we like politics? I mean, that? I figured. No, I, I'm not saying I I enjoyed the second the book. Way it I left liked off. the first book more. Okay, but this because I liked like the tournament. I like that like fast like whatever. Yeah. The second book is like a true fantasy where it's like you've That's got true. different factions and you have the the politics. You have was it poppy war vibes with like the war thing? Yeah, I mean you have um. You know, you're you're finding out what Vincent was hiding this whole time. Good, and like, I need to find out. You find out, you know, okay, more about less. the background of of the character. <laughs> of too much. No, I don't think so. You're, you're doing find, all right, but I feel like out, I could close, feel it. We're close. Going. No, but you're finding out all of these things, yeah, and it's yeah, not. Yeah. Nec- and then you have your end result of like what actually oh ends up God. happening, and it's not the same type of book as the one before. It's a sequel. Yeah. That's shouldn't fine. be the same as i mean it felt one. like that was the way that we were going at the end i was like okay we're gonna get into like the politics now the war side of things i was hoping she'd run away at the end of book one mm. i think honestly and i hate saying this because i did enjoy the second book but like i think she could the author could have cut down this book and book just one? yeah and just <laughs> made a f- 550 page book okay and one and two interesting Oh, with oh, one and two. With combining. That's interesting. Good standalone. But it's a man. duology, so it's its own. But it could maybe could have been a standalone. I would. I, I'm standalone. happy ending it right here. To be honest with you, I know really? it's yeah. I know it's a cliffhanger at the end, but I'm like, well, they're married, so 
they might as well like i want to see him grovel this is it the grovel is <laughs> i nice. want to see him grovel the grovel is good. i don't know it was a great it's a book a lot of grovel i good. i a lot of good he lied to her the entire time uh, it yeah. is a it is a l- it just as long of a burn good to the book i'm happy with the burn oh my yeah. god I if just, it's not Mario Zapata of Burn, I'm good. I just did not expect to like it as much as I did, especially a vampire book. So if you are somebody who hates vampires, you don't like that trope, I will say this didn't feel shoved down your throat like a vampire book. Like, it just didn't feel that way. It felt bigger than the vampire stuff. So... Did you get grossed out by all the Give blood? a shot. No, I like... I like... I like when there's like... I, I like that there are moments in this book where I had questions and then they were immediately answered. Me too. So yeah. for example, there are, there's parts of this where in between the trials, they were getting feasts and stuff, but yeah. although it kept dwindling down, which made the vampires more um, hungry, hungry, which made her even more unsafe. But there was one where like they're overflowed with blood. Mm-hmm. And my first thought was like, where is it coming from? Yep. Yep. And two seconds later, she, she arrives she like, asked. I wonder where this is coming from. Yeah. I feel comfortable. I'm like, <laughs> you're thinking yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, i thought it was great good book good choice what's our next like big click gonna be like who's what are we talking about right now Haunting adeline's gonna be our next big click oh why is it gotta be that because it's gonna be for halloween time is that really what's like trending right now it's trending a lot right now okay well well it's been trending for the last couple of months now it's like it reached the you know how it goes oh it's so good everyone loves it now it's too popular let's find out why it yeah sucks. yeah <laughs> that's such a good point yep. well we're reaching our uh, halloween time so things are gonna get a little more spooky if you have spooky books you want us to cover then hit us up i was gonna say this and i wasn't sure if i should offer it up or not oh boy we didn't but discuss thought, whatever you're about to say i <laughs> thought maybe you guys would read silence of the lambs oh yeah i would for halloween i even watch that movie or we can do the movie I'd, i'll read it how long's the book <sighs> it's not that long three something oh yeah we could do that we could do that erica suck it up i mean it's not on kindle limited or anything actually it might be on kindle limited mm, we'll check science of lambs might be red dragon's not what's red dragon red dragon is the first one. Oh. oh but we want to do the first one right no i think science of lambs would do that one because that's what everyone knows so you don't need to read the first one no nope. yeah read for free yeah oh Kindle my god grab science it now. Of the lambs. Just, just take it if you guys want to we'll do it honestly do it. i gave it five stars not because I love Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> yeah, sure, Maria. <laughs> but 4.7. It's a good book. Okay. I okay. really enjoyed the writing. Like, I, I coming back to it as an adult, because, again, I read them when I was younger, so I don't have any memory. I think I'll like this. Um, Coming back to it, it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, like, reading-wise. Why is this author's note so long? Okay. <laughs> I'll definitely, I'll, I'll read that. I'm in. The author note's long because... Oh, I so we've got silence of the lambs haunting adeline so we need a couple more spooky books yeah spooky books somebody keeps asking us to do haunting adeline so it's it's happening S- yeah i guess i it's mean official. i don't did I don't you guys know. already read it i read it in greece you better read it my again. birthday you better read it again i can't be i'll the probably one, do the audiobook i can't be the one that leads that conversation <laughs> i know i'll have to read it again just okay. to make sure we're talking about it I great think, i think we have to read a um like a cozy witch, love. like funny fantasy. Love, 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 idea. love. Love the idea. I want a nice cozy what witch. What is it? Oh. Um, cozy witch book. I just read one. Oh, of course. Tell us what she's already read. I am. <laughs> this bitch. She I just read, read one that's so fucking funny. Okay. Oh, I'm down for funny I'm down for horror. funny. Yeah. Or I yeah. like the, gar- no, it's not horror. I know. Funny horror. It's like <laughs> scary it's times. Okay. Um, Hit us up on Discord or it's anywhere. It's like Halloween Town cute love give me yeah give me okay um just go over to our instagram that's books underscore n underscore betches b-e-t-c-h-e-s click the link tree you'll find us um join our discord we're always talking over there um or at i'm least, always over there yeah maria's always over there but people talk to each other in that and you can get new books getting and have a longer on, tbr getting it on with gargoyles it's called getting it on with gargoyles getting it on with gargoyles jesus christ haven af- haven ever after is there sex in it yeah it's erica why? She read it. It's, she it's gave like, it five it's stars. Like, it's like Halloween Town with sex. Do you want me to read the synopsis? How much sex? I'm sure it's the whole book. No, Erica. The last cool. line. The last line of the of the of the. You synopsis, made me read and the he red brings snacks. <laughs> oh my he god! Snacks. Whatever that means, I'm good. I used to love that gargoyle show, so this is giving me the gargoyle. Oh you know, I did too. Yeah. Yeah. Getting, so getting off gargoyles. Who I'm thinking of? You said getting off. Getting it on with gargoyles. A sweet small town gargoyle. What's it romance. on? What's it on? Uh, Kindle. Uh, it's part of Kindle Limited. 
All right. Well, you have that. Corey to look gave it to. five stars too. You have that to look over. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, we'll for out. joining us. Go to our YouTube. Just look up Books and Bed. Just subscribe. We love you so much, and we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.